I want to tell you the story of a great state, a state of limitless opportunity. Brave settlers charted a rocky course through mountains and deserts, through snow and ice to make it there. There they found beauty unparalleled, rich earth, bountiful oceans. They built something incredible. They were adventurers, pioneers, and dreamers. They dreamt the California dream, and they built a state where people could prosper and flourish. 400 years ago, missionaries also walked up and down this state, founding our California missions. They founded communities, small settlements built around faith, around churches, around family. A few of them you have even heard of. San Diego, named after St. Diego. San Francisco, named after St. Francisco. Los Angeles, named after the angels. And Sacramento, named after the most blessed sacrament. These were once communities of shared purpose and identity. Their shared purpose made them great. Together they valued children and marriage, hard work, ingenuity, and freedom. They practiced their faith and honored God. Today, we are 40 million souls strong in California, men, women, and children. I, like many of you, are a proud daughter of California. We are daughters and sons. But in my lifetime, I have watched our state utterly destroyed by political leaders who despise the very things that make us great. Instead of inviting families to live the California dream and care for their children, our governor is inviting families to come to California to kill their children. Proposition 1 just passed, permitting the slaughter of full-term babies, and we are all complicit. Our tax dollars are being spent by our politicians who are killing our children. Our governor has just signed into law the mandate that every college in this state must distribute the lethal drugs that kill children, turning our dorm rooms into death chambers. We are killing our dream. We are killing our future. We have entered a nightmare. We have a choice before us today. Will we speak? Will we fight? Or will we flee? Don't leave California. Stay and fight. Take back this state. Victory is possible. We face a daunting challenge, but every daunting challenge is a limitless opportunity in disguise. In my father's lifetime, as a young boy growing up in California, we had a governor who had a radical conversion. Ronald Reagan once defended abortion in California. As, as governor, he signed into law the permission of abortionists to destroy their prey. But then something happened. Change happened. Governor Reagan changed. He repented, he became pro-life, and as President of the United States, he signed the Emancipation Proclamation of the Unborn Child. He declared, as President of the United States, I do hereby proclaim and declare the unalienable personhood of every American from the moment of conception until natural death. California governors who become American presidents can change. Governor Newsom, Repent, open your eyes, stop killing the California dream, the California promise, stop killing our most precious, our children. Repent, wake up. Today, we send a message loud and clear to Governor Gavin Newsom and the corrupt politicians in this building who pretend that we do not exist, but we do exist. We are not going to going away. We will multiply. We send a message to the corrupt politicians who serve the abortion industry and the culture of death. We are not leaving. We will stay. We will multiply and we will take back this state.
We will restore the California dream by being unapologetic and loud about the value of every human life. For our homeless, for our immigrants, for our addicted, for our elderly, for our pre-born, our young families struggling to make a life in a state that has forgotten their future. But their future is the only way for California's dream to come true. We will practice our faith. We will raise our families. We will build our businesses and communities and we will fight for the most defenseless. We are ready for you, Governor Newsom. Convert. California is not only our past. California is our future. Don't leave, fight.